in the name of Almighty Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. As Muhammad peace be upon him narrated, if anyone travels on a road in search of knowledge, Almighty Allah will cause him to travel on a one of the roads of paradise. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Tarin Su. Thank you very much for watching my videos and your wonderful support to make this channel a grand success. We are a family, a partner. Please share and subscribe our channel if you haven't done so far. We as a team can work together to convert our challenges into opportunities and opportunities into success stories. These success stories can be monetized into value addition in the world by large. Thank you very much for your precious time. Today I'm going to discuss my lecture number one on fluid catalytic cracking FCC unit. Before my lecture, I used to read a Quranic verse. Kala Rabbi Shrahli Sadri Waya Sarli Amri Wahlalu Okudatum Milisani Yaf Kavkali Allahumma Rabbi Zidin Ilma. O my Lord, open my chest and ease my task for me and I lose a knot from my tongue that they may understand my sing. Allahumma Rabbi Zidin Ilma, O Allah, advance me in my knowledge and true understanding. Okay. So, fluid catalytic cracking FCC unit. We have targeted a uh, seven section. First, today we are going to discuss uh, theoretical descriptions of FCC unit. Then we will discuss uh, a process for descriptions, major equipment, a purpose and function, startup, shutdown, emergency procedures, troubleshooting and advanced uh, process control strategies. Corrosion environment aspects and safety recommendation. Number seven, a unit performance. So if we can see here, so the first will be the FCC unit, process description, function, emergency procedure, control strategies, Corrosion, environment aspects and safety, recommendations, and unit performance. Okay, key takeaway points from lecture number one, FCC unit. Today we are going to discuss a three important topic. First, a chemical reaction, and second, a reactor operating parameter and reactor severity. Okay, first here, chemical reactions, reactor. Uh, operating parameters and reactor severity. Okay. So the today first topic, chemical reaction, operating variable, reactor and regenerations, reactor severity and regeneration severity will discuss on later stage. Okay. My first topic, chemical reaction, what it basically demands it. The FCC unit a process convert heavy crude oil friction into a lighter a more valuable hydrocarbon product at high temperature and moderate pressure in the presence of finely divided silica alumina based catalyst. In the course of cracking a large hydrocarbon molecules into small molecules or non-volatile carbon materials commonly referred to a coke is deposited on the catalyst, the coke laid on on the catalyst acts to deactivate the catalytic cracking activities of the catalyst by blocking access to active catalytic sites. In order to regenerate the catalytic activity of a catalyst, the coke deposited on the catalyst is burned off with air in the regeneration vessel or regeneration section. One of the important advantages of the fluid catalytic cracking is the ability of catalyst to flow easily between the reactor and the regenerator when fluidized with an appropriate phase pressure. In FCC unit, the vapor phase on the reactor side is vaporized, hydrocarbon and steam, while on the regenerator side, the fluidization media is air and combustion gases. In this way, fluidization permits hot regenerated a catalyst to contact a fresh feed. The hot catalyst vaporizes the liquid a feed gases, hydrocarbons are separated from the spent catalyst 
the hydrocarbon vapor is cooled down and then fractionated into the desired product streams. The separated spent catalysts flow via a steam strippers from the reactor to the regeneration vessels where the coke is burned of the catalyst to restore its activity. In the course of burning, the coke, a large amount of heat is liberated. Most of this heat of combustion is absorbed by the regenerative catalyst and is carried back to reactor by the fluidized regenerated catalyst to supply the heat required to drive the reaction side of the process. The ability to continuously circulate a fluidized catalyst between the reactor and the regeneration allows the FCC to operate efficiently as a continuous process. Okay, so the operating variable reactor and regenerator, what it basically demonstrates. Okay, operating variables, reactor and regenerations. The reactor and regenerator operates together as an integrated unit, but it is convenient to discuss the process variable in each part independently. Even though it is impossible to make a process change in one section without affecting the other. The major variable or reaction severity, the effect of each variable on plant operation is then discussed together with its relation to other process conditions. Okay, first we are going to discuss what is the reaction severity. Okay, reaction severity. First, the reactor sections variables are adjusted for optimum reactor severity. A measure of the severity is conversion, which is defined as the liquid volume percentage of raw oil charge crack to gasoline and lighter products. The conversion should be corrected for any gasoline contained in the raw oil and it is conventional to correct the yield of cracked cycle oils to that which would be produced if 90% point of the gasoline distillations occurred at 193 degrees Celsius or 380 degrees F40. Conversion and product properties change with reaction severity. Product demand is the major consideration is selecting reaction severity. A high severity mode of operations, approximately 80 to 90 percent conversion, will yield a large amount of LPG. While a low severity mode operations, 45 to 55 percent, will produce a more distills. The most common mode of the operation is a gasoline mode of operation which operates at 75 to 80 percent conversion rate. Of course, conversion and product yield are also affected by change stock properties. It is important to note that the gasoline yield does not always increase with reaction severity if the severity is raised too high. Overcracking will occur if the result that more LPG will be produced at the expense of gasoline yield. Okay, next we are going to discuss operating parameter the number of severity of the reaction section. Okay, reactor severity. First, catalyst management, catalyst oil ratio, charge rate. Combined of feed temperature, reactor pressure, reactor temperature, recycle rate, lift gas system, riser system, and stripper steam rate. Okay. Now we are going to discuss first a catalyst of management. What it basically then or later in chronological order, then we'll discuss. Catalyst or ratio, charge rate, combined feed temperature, reactor pressure, reactor temperature, recycle rate, lift gas system, rise of steam, and stripping steam rate. Okay, first is the catalyst management, what it basically demonstrates here. Okay, a good management of a catalyst inventory is important to a smooth operation. Fresh catalyst must be added to the unit to maintain the desired level of activity and to make 
up of our physical losses. One must realize that the because of a unit large catastrophic inventory, it will take a significant amount of time for a fax at catastrophic replacement program to become a fully apparent. Results can also be clouded by changing a feedstock and operating conditions which affect a product yields. Fresh catastrophic addition should be made as continuous and evenly as possible. Batch wise addition tends to affect convergence and there is a evidence that increased losses also result. It is recommended that regenerated catastrophic must be sent to the catastrophic supplier at least even two weeks for analysis and results plotted together with the other process condition so that turns also rarely observed. Program for the makeup catastrophic a type and addition rate should be and vote for the a period of month before changes in catastrophic replacement are made. An accurate method for accounting for catastrophic additions and losses should be established. Equilibrium a catastrophic should be withdrawn as necessary when fresh catastrophic addition result in an increase in the upper regenerator inventory. Okay, next is the catastrophic oil ratio. Okay, catastrophic oil ratio. The catastrophic oil ratio, which is a ratio of kg per hour of catastrophic circulated to kg per hour of fresh feed. Catastrophic oil ratio is not an independent variable. It will increase with an increase of reactor temperatures and decrease with higher originator or combined feed temperature. When process conditions are changed, so that an increase in catastrophic oil ratio occurs. An increase in conversion and in coke yield will also be observed. An increase in catastrophic circulation at a constant reactor temperature will cause number one, increase conversion rate, increase a light gas yield, increase C3 and C4 yield, decrease C3 and C4 olefin, increase gasoline aromatic content, decrease gasoline olefin content, increase aromatic content of the LCO and increase a coke yield. That would happen if increase in catastrophic circulation at a constant reactor temperature. Okay, next is a charge rate. What it basically demands it. Charge rate here. The charge rate the unit will accommodate a quite wide variations in a charge rate at constant conversion during turn down or when the lighter feed stocks are being processed. A decrease in coke production will cause a decrease in regenerator temperature. If the decrease in temperature is large enough to affect stable operations, it will be necessary to add heavy cyclic oil recycle to the riser to increase coke production in order to help the unit heat balance. Steam is injected with the feed to assist with atomizing the feed. This improves the catastrophic oil content as the oil is spread out in the small droplets. Steam also emulsifies the oil due to shear stresses created in the pressure drop across the feed distributor. Emulsification provide a better feed dispersion as the water expands to steam in the riser. Charge rate is set as desired by the refinery based on the existing economies. Okay, next is a combined feed temperature. Okay, combined feed temperature. The combined feed temperature is adjusted through the raw oil preheat and the recycle of low temperature. The effect of a change in the combined feed of preheat can be predicted from the energy balance around the reactor and regenerator. An increased preheat temperature at a constant reactor temperature will cause number one, decrease the catastrophic circulation, number two, lower the coke production, number three, increase delta coke kilo coke per kilo catalyst, kg coke per kilo catalyst. Number four, slightly lower conversion. 
Number fifth, increase the regenerator temperature. Remember, the coke production will decrease with an increase in preheat temperature. The delta coke will increase and drive the regenerator temperature up. The delta coke is the major variable of a two affecting regenerator temperature. Okay, number fifth, severity reactor pressure. The pressure in the reactor is normally varied a very little. There is a trade-off here as the higher reactor pressure would reduce the gas concentration section wet gas compressor horsepower requirements. But it would also increase the main air blower horsepower. Higher pressure would also reduce the necessary size of vessel. The olefin content of the products will decrease with an increase in the hydrocarbon a partial pressure conversion will increase somewhat a coke laid on will increase slightly an effect which may be offset by adding steam or inert gas to reduce the hydrocarbon partial pressure this may however defeat the original purpose of using the reactor pressure Reactor pressure normally varies slightly with changes in a feed rate and loading in the main column. The operator has some element of control, but pressure must be kept within a narrow limit around the design value to avoid a problem with a riser and cyclone velocities. Maximum cyclone inlet velocity is maintained at 20 meter per second or 65 feet per second. Higher velocities are better for cyclone efficiency, but worse with respect to the greater amount of catalyst carry up. To them, as the vessel superficial velocity increases, higher velocity also increases cyclone erosion problems. Okay, my next number six are reactor temperature. This is very important. Okay, number six, reactor temperature. Reactor temperature is the prime control of reactor severity. An increased reactor temperature at a constant cutter circulation rate will cause number one, increase conversion. Number two, increase a light gas yield. Number three, increase C3 and C4 olefins. Number four, increase gasoline research octane number that's called a round number. Number fifth, increase a gasoline aromatic and olefin content. Number six, increase light cycle oil aromatic content. The coke yield may also increase slightly, but this will depend on other conditions as well. Okay, next number seven, recycle rate severity. Okay, number seven, recycle rate severity. The recycle rate determines the combined feed ratio that is called the CFR combined of ratio, which is defined as CFR is equal to one plus recycle divided by a feed rate. Where recycle total of recycle rates and feed raw or a charge rate. During the normal operation, recycle to the riser should not be necessary given as a CFR of one during a turn down or when lighter feedstocks are being processed, it may be necessary to add recycle to the riser to help the unit heat balance. An increase in recycle rate will cause number one, increase cactus circulation rate, number two, increase coke productions, number three, increase the regenerator temperature, number four, increase the gas makeup. Okay. Okay, lift gas system. The lift gas plus a lift steam rates are usually not varied during normal operation. An increase in the lift gas quantity would have a following factors. Number one, increase the wet gas compressor loading. Number two, increase the main column overhead loading. Number three, increase the gas concentration unit loading. Reduction in the amount of lift gas would decrease the hydrocarbon or partial pressure in the risers, lift section, and the cutters would be subject to deactivations in the higher steam involvement. 
Reduction of the lift gas would also decrease the lift suction velocity as well as increase the pressure drop across the lift suction. Eventually, a point would be reached where the pressure drop would increase rapidly, choking the risers, resulting in a loss of regenerated catalyst, slight walls differential pressures. As a minimum, we would not recommend decrease of velocity below 3 meter per second or 10 feet per second in the lift section of the riser. Lift gas flow is controlled at about 2 weight percent of the fresh feed. Okay. My next is a riser steam. Okay. A riser steam. During a normal operation, some steam is injected with the charge to riser of a distributor to sure optimum mixing of catalyst and oil in the riser and to maintain riser velocities. The total amount of riser steam, typical 2 to 2.5 weight percent of the raw oil charge, will cause number one, decrease the hydrocarbon or partial pressure in the riser. Number two, decrease the catalyst delta coke a weight coke per weight catalyst. Number three, decrease the regenerator temperature. Number four, decrease the light gas makeup. Okay, last and final a topic on reactor safety is steeping steam rate. And after that, we will conclude today's presentation. Fluid catalyst cracking, reactor safety number 10, steeping steam rate. Okay, the quantity of steam required to strip the oil vapors from the space between the catalyst particles is dependent upon the catalyst circulation rate. The stripping steam rate is generally about 1 to 2 kg or 2 to 5 pounds per ton of catalyst circulated. Ultimately, the optimum rate can be determined operationally by observing the response of the regenerated temperature to slow stepwise decrease in stripping steam rate. A relatively a large increase in regenerated temperature will occur when the steeping steam rate is reduced below the minimum required and combustion of the unstripped hydrocarbon begins. For routine operation, the steam rate should then be increased by about 10% above the minimum. Using the excess of steeping steam, however, is detrimental as it contributes to overloading the main column overhead system. During normal operation, the stepping steam rates will need to be increased whenever there is a process change which result in an increase in the catalyst circulation rate, which may affect number one, increase in the raw oil charge rate, an increase in the recycle rate, or decrease in the combined feed temperature and increase in the reactor temperature. Okay. Okay. Conclusion, what we have discussed today. First, we have discussed uh, chemical reactions. Secondly, reactor operating variable and reactor severity. My next topic will be the regenerated severity and operating parameters. Okay. These are few references. First is Qatar Petroleum Doha Qatar. We have about 24 years, OGDC Pakistan, two to three years, World Energy Outlook, US Geological Survey, US Department of Energy, Schellenberger, International Energy Agency, Wikipedia, Oklahoma Oil, State Oil, and that was the last NORSIC standard and standard oil. The story of the oil in the Pennsylvania state. Thank you very much for your patience time. Together, everyone achieve more. Please send me your feedback and comments t.masood.drbatch.edu. You may also send me through my WhatsApp number. Thank you very much for your patience time. Please stay at home, stay safe and inspired.